happening, Fish Fiends? D here, and today I got something special for you guys. I'm super excited about this because I walked by my tank and I found out that my mosquito fish is pregnant. Like, I just walked by the tank and I never noticed it till now, but she swam up to me and she said, Hey, D, I'm pregnant. Oh, that's great, Fishisa. I'm so happy for you. And the baby's yours. Wait, what? But nah, for really though, that's really how it went down. But on a more serious note guys, here she is. Before I even get started on this girl right here, I only have one suction thing. I'm so mad about this right now. I mean, I got this one. It kind of dropped, but I don't have the clear one anymore. I'm OCD about that, but anyways. So let's get on to the facts. Alright, so as we touched on before in my last previous video, if you watched that, the scientific name for the mosquito fish is the Gambusia affinis. This fish, when pregnant, you can tell it's pregnant by checking the gravid spot, and that's how you identify if it's pregnant. That gravid spot is that dark little circular spot on the belly. I mean, you can also tell because she's fat, but um, <laughs> anyways, do not call a female fat because you will get killed. But as you guys can see, this fish is really, really pregnant, which I am really excited about. I did a little bit of research on this, and usually they stay pregnant for about three to four weeks. This species is indeed a live bearer. I've never had a pregnant fish at all, and it's pretty cool that I have a live bearer. So they will pretty much give birth to live babies instead of laying eggs, which is going to be awesome to watch. Hopefully I'm here for it and I'm not at work because that would just suck, and I'd be really disappointed. So for those of you who are wondering what exactly this box is that I have my mosquito fish swimming in, it's called a breeder box and I'll put the eBay link in my description. It's really, really cheap and it has so many uses which I will put here on the side of the video for you guys in a second. There are so many uses for this, but I just figured I'd let you guys know exactly what I put my mosquito fish in for those of you who didn't already know. So what I've been feeding these guys, because I obviously do not have mosquito larvae laying around anywhere, has been these blood worms, which have actually been working pretty well. And I've also been feeding them this Tetramen Tropical Flakes, which they've been going crazy over, which I was pretty surprised with. But hey, speaking of going crazy, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have noticed how hype I am in this video right now. And that's because my wife gave me some of this military men tech energy gum that she got from her sister-in-law and this stuff has me off the walls right now this stuff is the good stuff man <laughs> but anyways yeah I work night shift so this really gets you through the day if you guys work night shift or any of you guys that are watching but anyways let's go ahead and get on to feeding these guys <laughs> I just noticed this little guy right here I'm not sure if you guys can see him because he's so small but looks like I have a lot more fish in here than I thought which is pretty awesome there's about two or three of them about this size which is crazy because I've never noticed them until now I mean I did I noticed one but like three Wow So for all my snail people in here, I also have Malaysian trumpet snails in this tank. So pretty much it's just two species that inhabit this tank at the moment, which are the Malaysian trumpet snail and the mosquito fish. Uh, the reason that I have the Malaysian trumpet snails in here are... Oh, down for the count. But anyways, the reason that I have the Malaysian trumpet snails in here originally was because I was trying to go ahead and have them breed in here so I can have snails to feed to my puffers which I have yet to pull any of these guys out and I probably doubt I'm going to I'm probably just gonna leave these guys alone in here cuz I really don't feel like digging through here and trying to find them all cuz they're all over the place but anyways I just figured I'll show you guys that and I also want to show you guys my puffer tank so we're gonna go ahead and take a look upstairs 
There goes Frank looking like a boss as usual. Boss man, boss man. That's the boss man, boss man. Hey! So this is what I want to show you guys in my puffer tank. I'm actually planning on changing my green spotted puffer to salt water, which will be a video that's coming up very soon. And I'm also putting my pea puffers in their own nano tank downstairs. And I also want to show you guys this shrimp because it's really hard to get these guys to eat anything other than live food. And I finally got them to eat this shrimp, which is awesome. But let's get back to the video. All right, so back to the main topic of the video, which would be in fact these guys. I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on with these guys, especially her right here. I'll keep you guys updated with what's going on with her. Hopefully she has the baby soon so I can show you guys. But anyways, I also wanna go ahead and take the time to thank all of my subscribers because if you haven't noticed, I finally reached 300 subscribers and I will inform you guys that once I reach 500 subscribers, I will indeed have a contest. I'm not completely sure exactly what that contest is gonna entail just yet. So keep an ear out for that because once I do reach 500, 500 subscribers, I will definitely be doing contests. But anyways guys, that's it for today's video. If you like my content, please subscribe. If you want to hear more from me, please hit the bell notification bar. Oh, and if you like my video, please hit the like button. Give me the thumbs. And also comment on the page. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's any videos or anything you want me to give a review or anything like that on. But anyways, this is Deep Fish Keeper. And as always, thanks for watching.